The signs were there from the beginning. Heavily armed police officers on the outskirts of the consultations involving several government ministers and residents of Daebe. It wouldn't be long as NITCO chairman Dr. Carson Charles began to address them. They began. The real question is, how shall we convince you that the negative effects They put up placards and continued chanting throughout, but it was only the beginning. Local government minister Chandra Sharma came on next, and it all escalated from there. Thank you very much for this wonderful reception. Good. So, look, look, look about the highway. This highway is really a good news highway. As it began to boil over, the minister continued to attempt to speak above the din until a man walked right up to the bottom of the stage. There would be a compromise to agree on what the price has to be. So no person, no person would get less than their dollar value. No person will get less than their dollar value. Armed police would move in. The crowd continued. Look at the reaction of Works Minister Jack Warner, other ministers with him looking on. Minister Warner would be applauded when he took to the podium next, and very soon he would recognize one man in the audience who reacted in celebration. That would be cut short as the protesters turned on him. Do not give up, because this is what democracy is about. Having said so... Minister Warner tried to quiet them down, but to no avail. I don't understand if you are building a highway 2.40, why you must bypass the people of Pinal. I don't understand if you're building a highway 2.40, why you must bypass the people in Separia and in Debe. It would be no different in the question and answer session as they took their turn on Minister Warner and others. I don't think you hear it properly, Mr. Warner. That is why I'm speaking so loud. Right? Listen to me. I am the public. This is the public. You have to listen. Public consultation. Don't come here and mama guy me. I have a brain in my head and I am using it. And I am asking everyone here, get the documents, read them, and then you will understand. The residents would walk out because just as Minister of Planning and the Economy, Dr. Bortiwari, began to address them, the consultations coming to an end shortly after. It's not apologetic for creating for the uproar at the consultations. Well, it seems that the government came with a prearranged plan to get us to accept their idea of the highway. They want us to accept the entire system from Mondesir to Debe, and they didn't want to consult with us. So they're coming with the same old formula. What they should have done was, they should have come to us and asked us if we want to have a highway between Mondesir and Debe. They should have asked us, what is our route option? And we could have presented that for them in a scientific and logical way, but they didn't come to that. They came with a precondition, a prearranged plan, which is the old plan, and therefore we rejected it. Dr. Kublau Singh says while he is willing to continue consultations with the government, he does not want to speak with the team appointed by Minister Warner. I'm willing to dialogue with the Prime Minister and anybody of the technocrats who is willing to speak to us. We're always willing to dialogue, but on the basis of equity. The last time he said he will dialogue with us, he wanted nine persons on the committee, seven on their side and two on our side. So therefore I had no technical help. While they've been protesting for weeks, it appears the highway reroute movement is not swaying the government. Works Minister Jack Warner all but confirming that no reroute would take place. What they're asking us to do, it does not make good road sense. Why should you reroute and run a highway from, from, um, from Mondesir to Paria Suites where you already have a highway there? It's the same from Dr. Carson Charles, chairman of NITCO, the body charged with overseeing the construction. You see the swamp is on this side. People are living on that side, and we're passing that way between the swamp and the people. So there's no place to reroute, because we've chosen the route well, that is the least impactful between the swamp on the one side and the people on the other side. And about the chaos that erupted, Minister Warner believes many of those protesting are not even from the area. Many of those people today who are making noise, more than half of them not living in the area. Look, 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 look here. They're not even living in the area. 
what we have now is, is, is some some professional protesters, right? And we are we are of course victims of that. The Highway Reroute movement has set up a permanent camp at the site of the construction in Daybay.